Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing another class from Your Perfect Body program and today's class is called Embrace the Effort. So set point kind of implies more ease. We find a place where we're comfortable in and we flow effortlessly there. Uh, effortlessly within a schedule of course and routine. So um, you know effortlessly but with a, a little a condition to it. Now here embrace the effort because things in life do require effort, that is the truth. And I've been listening to Andrew Huberman's uh, podcast on dopamine and how to successfully maintain our dopamine levels, which is the hormone of motivation. And usually that is with delayed pleasure and also uh, embraced effort. Just to summarize it, it's really more complicated than that. but for the purposes of this class and for what my vision about it and about life is <laughs> within that um, frame of uh, thought embrace the effort certain things do require effort that is just how life is if we want to write a book we're gonna have to put effort into it um, that is on my mind because i don't like editing and i've written uh, something that is probably completed but it requires a lot of editing uh, so we have to embrace it. We have to shift our attitude towards certain things in life so that we appreciate the, the steps it takes, the work we have to put into uh, for what we're envisioning as uh, creation. Uh, so when we want to create health or f uh, fitness level or something, uh, it is good to also embrace the effort or be excited about the work. Um, if we shift our attitude towards say um, eating healthy and exercising it's something that we look forward to we luxuriate in which for me it is because when you don't have time to have a one hour time to just exercise that's just so or even 20 minutes it's so luxurious so embracing the effort embracing the capacity to to exert effort to to have a hard workout um, that is um, the, the subject of this class, so shifting our attitude towards really loving the process, really enjoying the effort, really enjoying the huffing and puffing. Mm, that is the idea because from the effort then we have that dopamine response, dopamine levels uh, rise. Uh, all right, I think that's enough intro, you get the point, uh, there is so many aspects to life, embrace the effort is today's uh, aspect. Set point is yesterday, kind of flow and ease and finding just a very, um, a place of homeostasis for the body, of balance, of um, just uh, ease. Uh, and today is really have this um, idea that you really are embracing the effort, you're loving the effort that it takes to do the workout or to do, to learn something, a new skill or whatever, you're just loving uh, the process and the effort that it takes. So we're not so much goal oriented and uh, looking forward to the results, but just the process, just embrace that effort. All right, uh, remember to flow with strength and ease. Starting at the front of the mat, Roll the shoulders back and down, belly in, really feel your stance. Tune into your breath, lift the chin, lengthen through the crown of the head, feel the length in your body. Really feel the stance and you can close the eyes and tune in, feel the body. Spread the toes open, really feel the feet and your connection to the ground, to the mat, to the earth. Your extension, the energy extending down towards the earth, the connection. Then the core, really standing tall, feel the expansion, the openness, the, exp uh, the expansion and extension. As if just by the awareness shifting, your posture shifts as if, but that is really how it works too. Really feel the breath flowing, slowing down. Connecting 
you connect with the etheric elements through the breath. Feel the heart expanding, so the space here uh, where the um, heart chakra is, but also higher heart chakra, just an expansion and opening and blossoming. Fire in the belly, feel fire in the belly, kind of like digestive fire, but also passion and, um, and strength to endure and to just move forward. Just that forward momentum that comes from the fire in the belly. That inner fire. Feel your breath as this connection to the etheric elements as that capacity, that tool to really expand your physical body as well and also your consciousness because it is that bridge too. Inhale the hands over the head. Lift and reach. Looking forward to the effort that it takes to move through the class, not to the end of the class. We're not focused on the end of the class and getting through the class and all of that, but just looking forward to just being there and embracing the moment, each moment within the class. And reach over to one side, because with that attitude of getting through things, getting to the end of things, we just constantly get to finish something, to be done with something, and we are never fully in the process of something. So shifting to really loving this effort, and that also is a reminder to really love this time on earth. As difficult as it is, it will be over, of course, as everything else is transient, and really embracing and waking up with joy to be here right now. And look up. Gratitude and joy, gratitude to be in your body, even with the challenges in the body and on earth, with the challenges on earth. And embracing this time here, you can do it. And let's go, exhale down. Inhale, look ahead. Plank. Chaturanga. Ooh, I'm sorry for Chaturanga. Up dog. Chaturanga. Down dog. I must have done a few too many Chaturangas yesterday. And just, you can shake it out, walk in place or bend the knees or I'll circle the hips, whatever, whatever you feel like doing here to just get in the body even more, to feel the body, to feel the movement and to bring the movement into the body. <sighs> Inhale the right leg up, step it through, high lunge. Let's twist to the right, open the arms out, drop the right hand down, left arm up, twisting here. And windmill the left hand down into transitional hip, hip opener here. So you're rolling on the other edge, so the feet that's just a transitioning pose that I like to move through as we go from lunge into side plank. Mm. 
reach over the head and elongate here. Feel the stretch. Feel that length. One handed plank. And here we're going to jump the feet out and in. So start jump, knee tuck. Start jump, knee tuck. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And vinyas. Down dog, feeling the body. Nice, complete exhalation, slow them down. The exhalations, but also the inhalations. Inhale the left leg up, step it through high lunge. Really embrace the breath as well. Open. Lighten up in the body and twist to the left. So feeling the lightness of the body, tapping into that aspect and drop the left hand down, right arm up. Elongate, lengthen. And windmill, right hand down. Little bit of a hip opener, flexing the feet. And side plank, hold it. Inner thighs active, activate it. Core activate it. Smile. Reach over and really elongate here. Ooh, it feels good. Especially it's so cold here today. And cold is kind of like a contractive feel. So this, ooh, this moves through the <laughs> muscle cells. Excellent. One-handed plank, and let's go. Start plank jump, knee tuck. Two, three, focus. Four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, down, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog. The sound of your own. Breath, tune in. Let's bring the right hand to the left ankle and look under the left shoulder. I even <clears throat> heard my spine adjusting. This is a self-adjustment here. Opposite side. And down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through. High lunge. Hands in prayer. Twist. Feel that twist through the upper back, mid back. We always feel it in the lower back, of course, but just bring it up. 
between the shoulder blades feel that readjustment all right inhale reach exhale hands behind the head press the elbows back open as the computer muscles here and exhale behind again computer muscles <laughs> i call them that clasp behind and open Ooh. and here we're just going to twist one more time with the hands clasping behind and just walk the hands towards the left hip look over the shoulder excellent shake it out and take the left hand down side plank again transitional hip opener here flex the feet roll onto the outer edges of the feet feel the hip opening here and side plank reach over the head elongate bring the hands down and here we're gonna do something I used to do in my very old classes hands are in plank feet are inside plank jump in and back and I want you to do a knee tuck after so that's one rep two three four five six seven eight nine ten and vinyas take the left leg up step it through high lunge Hands in prayer twist. Complete exhalations. And come up, hands behind. The head open, elbows are stretching away from each other, really expanding the chest in the back and pressing back. The effort here is one of stretching extension. Beautiful, and exhale behind. Interlacing the fingers, you can switch the grip, dominant finger under and open here again the computer muscles lift the chin and you can shake it out and let's twist it so you're going to soften the shoulders and bring the hands over to the right hip gently elongating lengthening look over the shoulder and from here right hand down transitional hip opener flex the feet feel it 
Excellent. And side plank. Hold it. Embrace the effort of a very steady side plank without jumping, without moving. You're just here holding it. And this moment will pass. So be in the moment. Don't look forward to when the side plank is over or the class is over or anything like that or the day, but just be here and reach over. Ooh, stretch it. Ooh, so good. All right. <laughs> One of those dogs that loves a stretch. All right, so from here, you remember the drill. Jump your feet in and knee tuck. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Take your time with the form here. Eight. Nine. Ten. Great. Plank. And here we're gonna lower down onto the ground. Clasp behind and lift. Lift your legs, lift your shoulders off the floor. Open the chest. Engaging the lower back, strengthening it. And release the arms, open them out like an airplane. Lengthen the back of the neck. And down dog. Inhale the right leg up, open the hip, lift. Wow, wow thing. Plank, one-legged plank, knee tuck. So bring the right knee in, bring it across. Tap the floor across from your body. And here we're gonna lift the knee in and tap it across. So that's a exercise for your inner thigh. Let's go one, two, three, and your obliques. Four, five, six, Seven, eight is enough. Step it through. High lunge again. Breathe. Let's draw a circle with the hands above the head. Elongating the obliques, the sides of the body. Reverse it. And vinyas. Take the left leg up. Open. Drop it. Wow thing. Knee tuck in a plank and bring it across. So here we're just going to do knee tucks and the foot touches across the floor. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Lift a little bit up. Six, seven, eight. Great. Step it through. Come up. And a few circles, 
elongating. Reverse it. Straighten the front leg and open here. So wide legged stands, feet parallel to each other, open, elbows back, hands behind, interlacing the fingers. Lower down, forward fold. You can shake the head, soften, soften the gaze. All right, I have a good exercise for you. Coming back up, plie. We're gonna do it in plie. The exercise is for headache, um, jaw pain, neck pain, upper, upper back pain, shoulder pain, um, high strain, etc. for a lot of things. You're going to keep the lips closed and circle the tongue on the inside of the mouth, just in front of the teeth. Point the tongue out and reverse the direction. Take a nice relaxing breath now. This really engages all the muscles here in the lower jaw. <clears throat> Reach to one side, side bend, opposite side, side bend. One more time. And plank. Chaturanga, up dog. Chaturanga, down dog. You can look under the left shoulder and under the right shoulder. Here we're going to jump side to side on the mat. You can have your hands slightly, fingers pointing slightly inward, the diamond shape. That is typical for push-ups and we're gonna do donkey kick. So heels kicking the butt, <laughs> I overdid it, uh, but you get the point. So jumping over the mat, it could be a lower jump too, but give it a few donkey kicks if you can. And let's go with the jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Center, push-up. So you're gonna do a pike press and jump your knees in and closer, pike press. Jump your feet out, pike press, closer, out, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh. One more donkey kick crossovers. You're gonna feel it, this is a lot of quads here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Press ups or pike presses. One, jump in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jump to the front. Squat. Hold it. Three jumps back. One, two, three. One forward. 
Hold it. <laughs> One. Embrace the effort. <sighs> Forward. One more, I promise. One, two, three. Forward. And <laughs> guess what? We're gonna do spin jump. <sighs> Forward jump. One, two, three. Back. Spin jump. One, two, <laughs> three back. All right, one forward. Come on, quads, and you can shake it out. Shake it out so that you can engage it again. Go to a wall for a wall sit. If you don't have a wall, bridge. Bridge on the ground. Wall sits. Press the lower back into the wall. I'm having trouble with my hair crunchy and my mic, but your upper back should be on the wall too. And push yourself off the wall. A few uh, heel drops. So feel the vibration, ground force vibration through the body tissues mostly bones but this moves the lymph too so drop down onto your heels you can do it a little harder or a little softer depending whatever works in your body all right more jumping come in the front squat Three, squats, back, one forward, one, two, forward, push up, and three squats back, one, two, three, one forward, push up, and squat, one, back, two back, three back, one forward, push up. back one forward push up and plank here we're gonna do plank jump left foot elbow to right knee knee tuck plank jump opposite three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and sit back, sit on top of the sit bones, lean back. And let's go side to side. One, two, twist. Lower down. Supine twist. Really focus on slowing down your exhalations. Change. Bridge. Bridge lifts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold bridge. 
you can transition it if you prefer to into a wheel. Lower down, lift your legs. And you can shake them here. Kind of shaking the lymph. You can hit the tap the tissue by hit, I mean tap, 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 tap. You can even move your knuckles down the inner thighs for lymphatic drainage. And time for plow. Rolling out into happy baby. Give yourself a hug. We're done with the effort. So that whole embrace the effort vision is already behind us. Now we're loving the moment, loving life enjoying the moment being grateful for the body for the moment for existence for the challenges and blessings that we've been given in this lifetime and you can extend your legs A moment to just feel the body laying on the floor, just feeling the floor, feeling the air absorbing your surroundings. And we're going to bend the knees, step the feet down <clears throat> and press your elbows down, go into a pelvic tilt with a stomach vacuum. Two more. And lay down. Shavasana. Allowing yourself to be in the state of gratitude or joy. Those states are available to us, frequency, bandwidth. So tapping into that. And if you're tapping into something else or you have a racing mind or an empty mind or anything in between, embrace that. But if tapping into gratitude is available to you, Tap into that, into the state and experience of gratitude, joy. And also loving life, not because of some particular reason or because things are going a certain way, but just as an attitude, 
as an appreciation of our experience at the moment and looking at that experience from the point of embracing it, loving it. Understanding its value, understanding its value. It's not a random experience, we're not here randomly. There is a deeper meaning in all of this and in the quiet moments between the words and the thoughts we know it we completely and fully know everything there is to know so stay here in gratitude in joy in the loving life state and remember to flow with strength and ease Namaste. Thank you.